Hey guys, this is Monsel with Neutropedia, and today I'm gonna answer the question, how often should I take nootropics? So guys, if you know Jesse Lawler from the Smart Drug Smarts podcast, he had one guest who had a famous quote, which was homostat homostatic equilibrium will not be denied. Now what that means in simple language is the brain and the body continually adapt to the environment that it's put in. If you're continually taking some kind of substance, your brain is continually going to adapt to it. I'm sure you've all experienced this with caffeine. You had a cup of coffee, a few days later, you're on two cups of coffee, and even that's not enough. So obviously, if something works, if a nootropic works for you, you're gonna want to take it every single day. But like I said, that's kind of a problem because your brain is going to adapt. So I've got three different ways that you can utilize nootropics to improve your cognitive abilities, but without becoming tolerant to the nootropics that you're using. Step number one is use nootropics only three to four times a week. You wanna make sure there are certain days where you're not using any kind of stimulants, any kind of nootropics to give yourself uh, an opportunity to rebalance out. This is the homostatic equilibrium part of the quote that I mentioned earlier. You wanna make sure you're giving your brain ample time to recover. So number two is be completely random with your usage of nootropics. I know that sounds weird because most people want to have precise focus with their nootropics. What are they taking? How are they tracking it, etc. But you want to go a different route. For example, if you use caffeine one day, you might use phenylparacetam the next day. You might use qualia the third day, then take two days off. That's just an example scenario for your week. Number three is use different mechanisms in order to improve your concentration or your memory. I'll give you an example. For me, caffeine works really well. It allows me to concentrate on my work, but caffeine increases dopamine and adrenaline and influences the adenosine receptors. Now, over time, obviously, you become tolerant to caffeine. So what I do the next day is use phenylparastam. It's stimulatory, but it's through increased oxygenation to the brain. It also improves acetylcholine uptake in certain regions of the brain, and that's what gives the stimulation. So they're different mechanisms, even though they have a similar effect. Now there are some exceptions to the rule. Some nootropics you want to make sure you're taking every single day because that's the only way that you see a benefit. One example of this is creatine, which needs to saturate your brain and your body cells. And taking creatine over the long term makes sure that you actually see those benefits. If you just take it once, you're you're not gonna see any benefits really. There's also evidence to suggest Bacopa Monieri needs time to work as well. Some people think up to 12 weeks, six to 12 weeks is a good time frame for you in order to be improving your memory and other cognitive factors. Finally, if you're new to nootropics, Piracetam is a memory enhancer that many people believe is needed on a daily basis. So anyway, just to recap, if you're looking for the answer, how often should I take nootropics? The answer is make sure you vary it. Don't take it every day of the week. Take it half or less of the days in a week and make sure you're using different nootropics randomly so that you don't become tolerant to any nootropic. Anyway guys, I hope this has helped. If you wanna learn more, go ahead and click right here. You will be taken to the Nootropedia page. It's all about nootropics, cognitive enhancers, but make sure you sign up for the email list because that's where most of the insider information comes. You're gonna get a quick, uh, quick start cheat sheet and a free five day course. So like I said, go ahead, find it right there and I'll see you guys next time.